Hi there! Today we'll be discussing precision and accuracy. Precision and accuracy are terms that we use every day, but few of us know what they mean in science. Today we'll be discussing the terms precision and accuracy and talking about how we use them in science. Let's model these concepts through curling. Let's pretend for a moment that these stones represent our measurements in science. Just like in curling, when we perform a measurement in science, our measurement is expected to match with some target value. As you can see, our measurements, or in this case our curling stones, landed near our target value. Making measurements near the target value is important in scientific experiments, and so scientists refer to measurements near a target value with a special term, accuracy. Accuracy refers to how close a measurement is to the target value. Let's take a look at another configuration. What's happened here? The stones are not near the target. We know that this means they are not accurate. But there is something here that is worth noting in science. We notice that repeated measurements of the experiment yield roughly the same outcome. The measurements, or the stones, are very close to each other. Have you ever stepped on a scale that was off by 2 kilograms? Every time you weigh yourself, you will get the same or similar results, and they will all be off by the target, by the same amount. This is the result of something that scientists call systematic error. Systematic error is always off the target by some predictable value, and therefore it can be fixed. For example, if your scale is always exactly 2 kilograms too light, you can add 2 kilograms to the measurement each time you read your scale. For this reason, measurements that are close to one another can be very important for scientists. These measurements, in fact, are so important that we give them a special name, precision. Precision refers to how close the agreement is between repeated measurements. Let's review what we've learned so far. We said that accuracy refers to measurements near a target value. Precision refers to how close measurements are to each other. Let's look at a few more scenarios. What about this one? The measurements are near the target value, and the measurements are near one another. We say that this configuration is both accurate and precise. In this situation, none of the measurements are near the target value, and none of the measurements are near each other. So we say that this configuration is neither accurate nor precise. Next, let's add some values. Suppose that our target value is 100. We measure our values to be 68.1, 68.2, and 68.3. None of these measurements are near to the target value, so this configuration is not accurate. These measurements are near to one another. We can say that this configuration has high precision but low accuracy. Suppose again that our target value is 100. Measurements yield 99, 89, and 95. These measurements are not near to one another, but they are closer to the target value than the previous example. In this example, we can say that our measurements have higher accuracy but lower precision than in the previous example. Let's try a practice problem. Raj and Min are measuring the length of their physics textbook. The true length, that means the target value, of the book is 17 centimeters. Who has the more accurate measurement? Who has the more precise measurement?
Clearly, all of Raj's values fall near to the target value of 17. Being near the target value means that Raj has more accurate measurement. Min's measurements are not near to the target value. They are, however, near each other. Min's measurements are the same until the first decimal place. Min's measurements are more precise than Raj's measurements. They are closer to one another. Just to recap, accuracy refers to how close a measurement is to the target value, the correct value. Some people remember that accurate is like correct. Precision refers to how close the agreement is between repeated measurements. Some people remember that precise is like repeated. 